Namaskar and good evening. Today we will discuss about Vikas WSP. I have uh, discussed Vikas WSP in the very recent past. But uh, Vikas WSP has been giving uh, several corporate announcements uh, uh, very fast in the recent past. Therefore, I thought it is uh, worth having a second look at Vikas WSP. Not only that, uh, this uh, the uh, B.D. Agarwal, the M.D. of Vikas WSP, has given a, a <coughs> TV interview to a local TV channel of Ganganagar. Uh, and then uh, it was very interesting. The uh, uh, M.D. says the Vikas WSP share is likely to scale very high in the uh, coming months. <coughs> I, I don't know where his optimism comes from, but he says that. And uh, then I wanted to dig into his past. <coughs> so when I went through his past, uh, there were several uh, uh, YouTube videos on him. <coughs> uh, yes, in some it is stated he is a uh, president of some uh, Zamindara party, something like that. And uh, uh, he is doing a lot of philanthropical works. <coughs> He has established a school, he has established uh, a hospital and he is establishing a medical college and uh, he is felicitating the Viranganas of, uh, of uh, uh, soldiers who died in uh, various uh, <coughs> wars, etc. Uh, he is helping children, students, etc. So, this man has a different facet also. He is a sort of philanthropic man also. In Vikas W, he faced rough weather for some time, especially the year before. He, has, he faced some problems. But uh, the, let us see his latest announcements. Uh, announcement dated 26th March 2019 is uh, uh, <coughs> about uh, a potential order for manufacture of potash based fertilizers by IMC Kalium Potash USA. <coughs> so the company has received the approval. He says here yeah, that we have received the approval for export of DP Guvargam products for the above cited subject uses that is for the manufacture of potash based fertilizers and uh, the potential uh, business is 12500 metric tons for an approximate amount of 230 crores that is from us alone currently the us orders are hardly 2 crores now the, he wants to have orders for 230 crores <coughs> so big one <coughs> so to confirm the final orders a technical expert team is coming from that company ims kalium uh, usa uh, on 20th April uh, 2019 to the plant of uh, WSP. So it's a new year Guvargam product developed by the company in 2016-17 and it has been approved for large scale production of potash fertilizers to increase its stability providing better conditioning. And uh, these orders, he is already assuming that it is it has come but final orders are yet to come. These orders are expected to be executed during the financial year 2019-20 in Q2, Q3 and Q4 of that year, <coughs> after, after April, May, June, after June rather. <coughs> now, uh, this is the latest order, 26th uh, March. The next order is, at, uh, pre previous order is 23rd March. So, orders for newly developed food grade thermal, thermal guvargam, that is for potash, this is, uh, this is states uh, thermal guvargam for manufacturing uh, of uh, flavoring refill fluid for uh, uh, electronic cigarettes of Phyllis, uh, Philip Morris and Dunhill brands and for food users aggregating some 177 crores. This is for uh, electronic cigarettes. Uh, as a flavoring refill fluid. The company has received export orders and domestic orders on 22nd March for uh, these products, for the uh, uh, for these users for 177 crores. <coughs> these were uh, developed in 2016-17. 
and have been accepted in the international market <coughs> with wide acclaim. Some more orders, 177 uh, crores already orders are received, partly Indian, partly foreign, Philip Morris and uh, Dunhill brands. <coughs> so uh, wide acclaim, mm, these are expected to be implemented in quarter 1 and quarter 2 of uh, FI20. The next uh, announcement is on 19th April, 19th March. <coughs> the, there was a litigation in uh, a US court to obtain a sum of rupees, uh, uh, sorry, US dollars, uh, 40 million, approximately Indian rupees 276 crores uh, that uh, is pay, was pending in uh, uh, Southern District Court, Houston. All evidences have been completed on 18th March 2019. Southern District Court has ordered to report the status by the parties on 12th April <coughs> and court review will be done on 15th April. The company is very hopeful that the amount will be received now. The, uh, but uh, we don't know until uh, uh, um, personally uh, I will take it that only when it comes it is uh, definite but the company is assuming. Okay, so these are all good news for the company. <coughs> now, if you l let us take a look at the quarterly uh, results once again. Net sales are 202 crores against 192 crores in the previous quarter and 178 crores in the year ago quarter. The year on year uh, improvement is 18%, 13% and quarter on quarter uh, improvement is 5%. Not, not very great. <coughs> Net profit is uh, some something like 10 crores, uh, uh, the improvement is 21% uh, year on year and 3.44% uh, quarter on quarter. Reasonable but not very great. <coughs> what is great is uh, the orders uh, after the publication of these results. <coughs> Equity has gone up uh, slightly by 5% to uh, 20.44 crores. Uh, <coughs> Basic EPS is 0 0.49 against 1 rupee face value. Market price is 18.44, but uh, 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 52 week low was 8.62 and 52 week high was 20.74. Volumes are good. You can buy and sell easily. <coughs> so that's one thing good. If you look at the segmental revenue for Q3, you will find US revenue is hardly 2 crores. But if the latest uh, order fructi uh, fructifies, US revenue will become 275 crores uh, from 2 crores. Mm. Europe revenue is 0 0.22 crores. Uh, probably we, uh, he is making his efforts. Let us say domestic uh, revenue is about uh, 200 crores. So that is also likely to go up. <coughs> mm. So, so um, uh, that is how it is. US revenue, especially from almost 2 crores to 200 crores uh, plus it is likely to go up if the order materializes. Uh, so, if the order materializes, the Mr. V.D. Agarwal's optimism that the profits will jump, uh, EPS will jump and uh, the uh, price also will jump, uh, <coughs> will be correct. <coughs> Let us see. He is getting a uh, lot of references and probably a lot of orders also. <coughs> Prior to this also, two, three orders were there. Uh, I have omitted them because I have covered them in my previous uh, video. <coughs> now, if you look at the annual uh, results, the latest, uh, the, uh, in the last four years, if you see, the latest year has got uh, profits of uh, some 29 crores, but previous two years were huge loss. <coughs> Loss came down in the previous one year. Prior to that, the loss was very huge. <coughs> so, but uh, the latest year, that FI 18, 29 crores profit. So, from there, he has to improve. Uh, we hope he will improve. Hmm? Uh, so, that is how things are. Hmm? The man doesn't seem to be a cheat or fraud or whatever. Uh, he is doing a lot of philanthropic activities for quite a long time. <coughs> So, I don't think that uh, Vikas WSP, uh, he, he wants just uh, for cheating public, no. Uh, he wants his company to be big, great, 
otherwise he will not be doing so much of research and development etc <coughs> but uh, you will have to watch the progress uh, slowly uh, uh, quarter after quarter etc uh, you can adopt the sip method uh, slowly uh, uh, you can uh, invest <coughs> uh take your chance <coughs> i don't think this man uh, will run away <coughs> he is here to stay uh yeah, yeah. there are a number of interviews of vd agarwal <coughs> and they are all quite interesting <coughs> there is a uh, interview by dd uh, rajasthan also that's also very interesting <coughs> so the man uh, is uh, good serious so he, if he wants to bring up vika wsp well provided he can his abilities only count not his intent his intent is uh, seems to be okay that's what i find thank you for listening i'll be back with you with uh, uh, a good company <coughs> thank you